What's happening, fellas? Check out this classic. This is a Kajiba DG 3.5. It has a 348cc two-stroke big bore engine. Uh, it was one of the more expensive trials bikes in its day, and it was actually designed by Senor Boltaco. Bolto, Senor Bolto had uh, some financial problems and his factory was close to closing in 82 and 83. So some of his chief engineers left and started their own little thing called Merlin. So you may see if you Google this, if you Google Merlin 350 or, or Kajiba 350, they actually sold it under the, the Merlin brand name. The closest production stats I could find was they made about a hundred of these Maybe a little more, maybe a little less, but very few of these were made. If Billy looks familiar, well, he was, he's a little bit older now, but he was actually, believe it or not, he was actually the spokesperson in the actual guy they used in the Boltaco ads. So um, he rode and the Boltaco, and Osa, the uh, factory ads. He is a national, top five national trials rider, AMA trials rider, and uh, has competed overseas multiple times, including the Isle of Man enduro and road racing and other trials events so this thing is absolutely beautiful uh they say there's they made a hundred of them i don't know how many of them survived certainly this one came from a collector out of atlanta georgia uh we bought the bike in and stripped it right down in the frame and went right through it it has uh, a brand new front fender front number plate and rear fender the gas tank was sanded down and repainted. The graphics are absolutely stunning on this bike. Um, one of my favorite things about it, these were designed by Christy Steiger. She put a ridiculous amount of time and effort into recreating these graphics because you know what guys, you can't buy graphics for a Kajiba 350 anywhere. We couldn't find them. So she recreated them. She actually drew, uh, reverse engineered the graphics based on, on the original graphics that were on it and did some of her own artistic touch to it. The bike has a brand new gold chain on it. The engine's been uh, completely repainted. It, the gas tank's been repainted. The original suspension on this bike is by Betor, B-E-T-O-R, Betor forks and shocks. And the bike appears to be all original. Pretty much bulletproof, 350cc two stroke, it has the original bars on it, levers, Magura levers, it came with Gremeca hubs and the B-Tour forks and shocks. It was one of the more expensive trials bikes from that era, if not the most expensive. I think the SWM was a little bit more expensive, but uh, just a beautiful piece. If you can zoom in on the engine cover, you see it says 350 electronic ignition on it. Um, very torquey motor, tuned for low end power for climbing the sides of, of uh, rock walls, basically. Trials, national trials competition. Kajiva was looking to get into the uh, trials market so they, they purchased the Merlin name and bought this over to Kajiva. Again, we, we believe about a hundred of these were made between the Merlin and Kajiva name. So um, it has the original factory kickstand on it, which is a rare thing to find because that's the first thing that would be taken off the bike when it came out of the showroom. We don't think this bike has ever been raced in competition. We think that it was pretty much uh, a uh, trail ridden a little bit, and it's been on display in a private collection for decades. So as far as putting a price on it, there is no sales comparisons that I have, uh, but I can tell you the motor sounds brand new. There's absolutely no piston slap. The transmission is a five-speed transmission. Um, it, the carburetor's been rebuilt and cleaned. The air filter's been replaced. The gas tank's been flushed out. The whole fuel system's been gone through. It has new gear oil on it. And it went through the detail shop where once all the mechanical work was done, the gas tank was repainted, the engine was repainted. All the aluminum on the bike was polished. The chrome was cleaned. Of course, the new fenders were mounted. And, and then the Steiger graphics package, which I really love the number one on the side here with the orange and what, I mean the uh, red, green and white with the uh, elephant, Kajiva elephant with a checkered flag. Very, very cool piece. Just a stunning piece. I mean, it's it's uh, something you would, we, we would put, put this as the centerpiece in the museum. That's where it's going. It will be on display inside the museum. Um, Billy, you want to add anything about this? This bike is uh, 
uh, spawned from the Merlin made in Spain, and Kajiva ran in and bought them up. And uh, they batch it their own, but it's a 350, plenty of power. It's the kind of bike that I'd really, uh, I would prefer it to have back in the day or for an armor event today. Absolutely. This is really, I mean, it's like a Boltaco. It handles nice and smooth, steers really steady. A lot of the trials bikes have steep steering angles, so they steer jerky. This steers really smooth, as you can see riding around here. De definitely uh, a very, when I, the, what I read about it was it was very similar to the Boltacos because uh, Senor Biltos, engineers had left the company when, it, when he was going out of business and they designed this bike so it's very similar to the Boltacos of that era. Correct, they went to Merlin and then Merlin became Kajiva. These are Boltaco, exactly Boltaco replica forks made by the same company, Bader. The uh, leading axle on the bottom, that helps it steering. It really makes it a nice, smooth steering bike. It's, and got, it, it's got all the top components like Akron rims, etc. from the day. Yeah, I can see it still has the Akron sticker on there. Uh, so you got is it you pronounced Bator, right? B E T Bator forks, Akron rims, Gramaka hubs, Michelin competition trials tires, front and rear. I don't think those are the originals. Uh, they may be, but uh, I don't think they came, came with Pirelli from the factory. Right. But um, this uh, ignition, electronic ignition logo on the side, that was recreated by Christy Steiger. She did an absolutely beautiful job on the graphics. I mean, I'm blown away. Uh, this is a, her own design right here. Uh, she designed this right here, and I love it. The bike's just beautiful. I'll bet. I'll bet they didn't look this nice when they came out of the box in 1982 or three. Right. The sponsors were paid to have their name on the fender like this. So, yep. like in the world rounds, you know, the, you know, the FIM, any sticker that went on there that was commercial, you know, people would have to pay for that space. Like if, if Michelin put their sticker on there, they'd have to pay for. It. Most of the 40-year-old air-cooled two-strokes have a real rattly sound. Yeah. This sounds like a brand new motor. It does. It sounds tight. There's no piston slap. And those, see all those fins? Those are just ringers. They're bells to ring. I mean, if there was any slap in that motor, it would project off of those those fins being so long like that. On the steering down tube here, it has the original factory made in Italy, uh, TR350 logo on there, which is kind of cool that that survived 42 years. Yeah, um, the frame was touch-up painted, but they left the original uh, badging on there. So. You can tell by the rims. The rims on this bike are nice and straight. I mean, they, it hasn't seen a lot of time. If you were trials racing this, you would have had four pounds of air in there and have been banging off rocks. Yeah, they'd be all gouged and bent, you know, from speeding through the woods between sections at an event. They'd be bent and gouged and I have to change them out a couple times a year. And if there's any bike you want to check the frame rails on, it would be a trials bike, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Take a peek. Peter over your side. The bottom of the motor looks to be in brand new condition, mint condition. No, no dents or damage, even the original factory protector on the side doesn't the pegs are perfectly straight the brake is perfectly straight the kickstand the fact that it even is still on the bike isn't remarkable it has the uh, um, chain adjusters the snail type chain adjusters which are nice because it's easy to make sure you got it on the same setting for both sides just a beautiful piece man good luck as I like to say good luck finding a nicer one it's uh you know it's not perfect the uh, the paint job um, it is uh, just been redone. The um, it does show a little bit of patina on the front of the fiberglass right here. Uh, it's a fiberglass tank, so it's not perfectly straight like a, like you would expect a steel tank to be. But one of the things about this tank I really like is is how it's the shape of it. It go it's like it's got a really cool design uh, that it goes all the way back into the seat, and that's the original factory Kajiva seat. Very cool piece. If you have any questions about it. Give us a call, 860-454-7024. I didn't grab the work order. If I, if, I, if I missed anything here, I'll grab the work order and go over that. It'll be on the eBay ad. Yeah, check it out. Uh, if you're interested in this bike, go to Kaplan Cycles, K-A-P-L-A-N Cycles.com. Click on the link. It'll probably be up. It's Wednesday, June 23rd. It, it'll, pro it'll probably be it'll probably be up um, and listed by the end of this week. If you have any questions, give us a call. Thanks for watching. God bless America.